Okay, right here we have the once completed spray booth. Turn on the light, it lights up, fan motor works. Turn that on, you can hear the air pump for the compressor running. Now I'm calling it once completed because after running it with that air fan in there, with that fan in there, it doesn't move enough air for me to use it as a spray booth. I have to spray for 10 seconds, wait 10 seconds. Spray for 10 seconds, wait 10 seconds. So I'm gonna to do some modifying to this. The bathroom fan is going away. I bought a new fan. I'm gonna to have to move the electrical, all of the electrical. I'm gonna to have to rewire damn near everything. This is not gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it'll take me a couple hours. That's about it. But I gotta pull that bathroom fan out. I gotta cut a hole over here for the new fan. And that's gonna be dicey because of that brace right here is gonna be in the way. The fan doesn't give me a lot of mounting options. I can't put the fan there where that hole is. You'll see why when I show you the fan. But I got a new fan. This one moved 80 cubic feet per minute. The new one moves 273. For this one, the motor is inside the airflow. For the new one, the motor is outside the airflow like it should be. That motor is cheaper than the equivalent bathroom fan. So, Actually, that fan costs about $30 more than this one. So, if you go looking at the right places, you can get a good fan that will work. Now, I'll be back showing you the fan and what I'm doing to get it to work. Okay, here's the new fan. You can see the motor is outside the airflow, like everyone says it should be. This isn't really an explosion-proof motor or nothing like that, but since the motor is outside the airflow, that should take care of that issue. All right, now here, here's a couple of things. Here's the exhaust fan. Yeah, they don't sell any flanges to work with standard drying duct with that exhaust flange. You're supposed to build one yourself, okay? Here's the air intake. It's going to bolt on the side of the cabinet. If this flange wasn't so close to this air intake, I could put this wherever I want. Or, if I were to cut this part of the flange off, I could mount it alongside the cabinet. I'm not good with metalworking. I'm not even going to attempt to cut that off and get this to work right. So I'm going to have to put this on the cabinet wherever I can to get it to work, okay? Um, these four screws right here are going to be a big problem because they stick up a lot. So I'm going to have to countersink where they go. And that's a bolt. I was over at the hardware store getting a bolt to fit this. It's metric thread. Okay, so here's my new fan motor. Now, I'll be back in the next segment showing you what I plan to do to mount something to the output. Okay, I spent a lot of time over at the home improvement store trying to figure this one out, talking to a lot of people there. None of them had any idea on how to mount something to that. Then I saw this thing. This is a heavy duty dryer duct. It's not a normal one. This is for like household, okay? And this looks like this one's slightly off, but it'll work for my purposes because you can see the flap and it's got a screen in there to prevent bugs from getting through, okay? What I plan on doing is cutting this off so I have a nice flat plate and the flat plate is big enough to mount on there then drilling four holes and this thing is good to go so I'll be back once I get it cut off and show you how that works okay here's the same piece with the vent cut off edges are really sharp so you have to be really really careful when you do this a lot of it I did by bending the metal and just flexing it back and forth until it tore some of it I had to cut with some big old heavy snippers over there. So be very careful when you do this. I'm going to take a file to it and say, uh, file it down and get rid of all the sharp edges real quick before I do anything else so I don't cut myself while I'm trying to pull this flap off. But if you look, the size of it is more than adequate for my needs here on this side of this. So this is going to work. That's going to be a good mounting plate to get my air moving away from the fan and into some ducting and hopefully I don't need to mention this but before you do any project use the proper safety equipment safety glasses and gloves especially working with sharp metal pieces you don't need that under your skin or in an eye getting a metal fragment in an eye is not my idea of a fun day okay we got her cut trimmed down she fits on there very very good I did forget something at the home improvement store. I forgot screws to 
put this together with so I'm gonna have to make a little trip over to my local home improvement store to get some screws for that I also gotta get that uh, screen out of there I can leave the screen on that end I cannot leave the screen on this end that just won't work it's too close up and it'll disrupt the airflow too much this close in but I gotta leave the screen on that one simply because this is Texas if it's not absolutely frozen outside there are bugs everywhere and I don't need them in the house so I gotta get that screen out and I gotta figure out how to do that but other than that put a little caulking on there bolt that on she's done I need to do a little bit of work on the spray booth I'll drag her out in a little bit start cutting holes and rewiring back in bed okay I've got the pipe fitted to the fan um, cutting that metal was far easier than I thought it would be with the snips. I followed everything, but I didn't follow the corners, so the corners are still pretty sharp on it. I may or may not take the time to do that. I may just put some tape around the outside of that to soften it up a bit so people don't cut themselves up. I got the booth out. I've gutted the inside. I've pulled the fan out. I can see she's taking some rough treatment on the bottom, but no one sees the bottom. Um, Again, I've got it the inside. Now this thing is gonna fit up in this corner. The intake is, I'm gonna to have to do a lot of cutting in that corner to get this thing to fit right. I'm gonna to have to watch these wires as I do that because I don't wanna cut these wires. Those wires go to the lamp fixture up there. Now, mounting this thing is gonna be a tad bit of fun, okay? Because there's the air intake and I want it mounted up here like this now that's gonna afford me almost a quarter inch clearance so I'm up at the top I don't know what that's gonna look like on the inside just yet I'm gonna to have to pull her around and look but she's got to mount up like that to give me proper exhaust hey it's gonna work okay but getting the holes and everything drilled just properly and the air intake cut out just properly is gonna be a royal pain I'm gonna to have to make one hell of a cutting template and drilling template so I'm gonna go do that come back once that gets done I also got to patch that hole up but that's easy I can just cover that with tape if I need to I'm also going to see about cutting a piece of plywood that's the proper size and just pass patching it over that hole but most likely I'm just going to end up taping that thing over putting a sheet of foil down and taping it as much as I hate to say it because it may be too difficult to get a piece of plywood cut to fit that with this notches right in here we will see I'll be back in a bit probably working in the garage all right there's the pattern I need for the hole for the exhaust fan I spent a long time trying to figure out how the hell I was gonna come up with that then it dawned on me this is the fan intake bracket it's a mounting bracket for the fan and it's bolted on with a few screws so what I did is I unscrewed it now get the positioning right I sat it in there and then doing this one-handed is fun I set the fan down on there like that position the fan where I wanted it and then very carefully pick the fan up leaving the ring behind like this and then I just outlined where the ring was. That was how I got that uh, drill pattern. Now, this piece right here would make a perfect plug for that, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get away with that. We're gonna find out if I can do that. But I doubt it'll work, okay? Because salt cutting that out's gonna be troublesome. I'm probably gonna have to get my scrap wood pile over here and just cut a piece out and patch the hole with that. So. Back once I get things cut out and drilled 